ओम शांति यह बाबा की सेवा के लिए नया चैनल चालू किया है इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें ओम शांति ओम शांति मॉर्निंग मुरली ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ फेब्रवरी स्वीट लेटर ऑफ बाप दादा फॉर स्वीट सीट चिल्ड्रन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन फॉलो द फादर श्रीमत एट एवरी स्टेप एंड इम बाइप द फादर्स टीचिंग दिस इज हैविंग मर्सी फॉर योर सेल्फ स्वीट चिल्ड्रन फॉलो द फादर्स श्रीमत एट एवरी स्टेप एंड इम बाइप द फादर्स टीचिंग दिस इज हैविंग मर्सी फॉर योर सेल्फ क्वेश्चन हाउ आर द चाइल्ड एम्प्रर एंड द मास्टर द एडवाइजर ऑल टूगेदर एट दिस टाइम How are the child emperor and the master, the advisor, all together at this time? How? Answer: The child emperor is the vice of lust, and the master. The advisor is anger. The child emperor is the vice of lust, and the master, the advisor is ang anger. the two are deeply connected with one another all human beings are present under the influence of these two someone who becomes a child of the father but then comes under the influence of lust or anger would become one who gives the father a bad name such children cross out their fortune baba says sweet children conquer these enemies It is said of anger wherever there is anger even the water urn dries up whenever there is anger even the water urn dries up so don't forget the days of your childhood om shanti do you children know who has come into the gathering who has come baap and dada both together if he were corporeal then bab would be separate from dada this is a wonderful sign who has come the intellects of children say that she baba has come only the one father not two father is the creator of heaven only the one father not two father is the creator of heaven yes he definitely has helpers both the father and the children do the work it is a greatness of the father and so it is also the greatness of the children this dada is also a child you come here to class the word gathering is common there are many gatherings but this is the study place of god it is seen everywhere that each one is listening to the knowledge and imbibing it their faces are blooming their faces are blooming while listening their mercury of happiness rises these are also limited fathers teachers and gurus that one is the unlimited father and teacher today he is teaching you and so how high should the mercury of happiness rise and so how high should the mercury of happiness rise there are many children it is said god shiva speaks or even shiva charya shiva the teacher is teaching us he is the ocean of knowledge after shiva charya comes shankara charya <laughs> there are two types of renunciation this renunciation is for being sato pradhan deities it is easy yoga you know that the father has entered the body of this dada This is why you have to say Bab Dada. This is why you have to say Bab Dada. There are the grandchildrens. There, a corporeal father becomes a grandfather, and then a great great grandfather. Here, the grandfather is incorporeal. Baba enters this one and speaks the knowledge to you. Those who belong to the brahman clan are the god's children you say o supreme father supreme soul we belonged to you and then played our parts of 84 birth it is such an easy accept 
it is such an easy accept in the world when a father has five or seven children one or two of them would be unworthy but this father has so many children and so there would be some worthy as well as some unworthy children some has have the influence of lust and some the influence of anger if even one person in a home has anger there would be fighting an angry person makes a household very unhappy here too if some have an evil spirit of anger they become those who spoil shibaba's name they give the fathers a bad name that is they cross out their own fortune anger is a very great enemy where there is anger and sorrow that is called hell it is said that anger even dries up the water in the urn in one's home so the father explains that those who have anger receive the shrimat don't make others unhappy due to your anger otherwise your fortune will be crossed out and your status destroyed instead of being god god's children you would become the devil's children instead of being god's children you would become the devil's children here it is written dt sorventy is your god fatherly birthright it is your right to claim the full inheritance of the golden age so you have to claim the full inheritance and become lakshmi or narayan if someone becomes even one of the subjects in heaven that too is a great fortune at least they would go there establishment takes place gradually they are then made to make a promise and have a rakhi tied on them no one can remain hidden baba says no one can remain hidden you brahmans are now god's children baba ask is your clan greater or is the dt clan greater baba ask is your clan greater or it is the dt clan greater which clan is more elevated that of brahmans we cannot say that the dts are as elevated the brahman belong to the god's clan and they make bharat into heaven so brahmans are said to be the top notch in fact they should build a temple to shiva on a high mountain but because no one nowadays would be able to climb up there they build them in the cities shiv baba is the highest on high and so his temple should also be high on a mountain top look at the state of the world everyone is completely ruined the father comes and makes everyone prosperous again all of you become prosperous at the confluence age you were residents of hell for a total of 63 births you were resident of hell for a total of 63 births there is an accurate calculation you ruled in heaven for 21 births and you then continued to descend for 63 births your degree continued to decrease now no degrees remain all of you are in the dust there is say, saying even if you decorate a donkey a hundred times it will still go and roll in the dust that refers to this time baba says i decorate you so that you become like lakshmi or narayan but the vices then make you fall into the dust the dust of anger continues to distress you there are many who have a lot of anger violence is also a form of anger without anger they cannot attack anyone if someone does not receive a share of the property he gets angry and a brother would kill a brother this fighting begins with anger the father explains beloved children don't get angry otherwise you will cross out your line of fortune and the fortune of your companions with whom you are angry baba is saying will also be crossed out you will cross out your line of fortune and fortune of your companions 
will also be crossed out out of anger people say if you come to my house i will kill you the father now puts your mothers in the front you know that you become shiv shaktis every cycle you become shiv shaktis every cycle shiv baba comes and makes you belong to him if you children did not exist what could shiv baba do by himself you shiv shaktis are very well known in bharat if you have not seen a temple built as your memorial you can see one in abu it is your accurate memorial these are also there are also the images of the elephant riders it is a wonder that you have come and taken up residence here since you celebrate the birthday of shiva he must definitely have come here do you know when and how he came you don't know the occupation of the one who made bharat as valuable as a diamond the deities were at first brahmans who then became as valuable as diamond the brahman who helped baba become deities you can explain about their occupation to everyone however only a few will understand because there is a limit to the kingdom because there is a limit to the kingdom this is why it is said a handful out of many million even after speaking of mama and baba some children forget baba oh maya <coughs> Oh Maya, you are so powerful. This continues to happen. Even great commanders die when they are shot. Many soldiers also die. When important one dies, there are the cries of distress. Maya killed so and so in the Shiv Shakti army. This has to happen. this has to happen there is not as much concern when someone from the infantry dies but for a maharathi everyone would say oh ho oh, maya has killed that one maya has killed that one it is not that he would not go to heaven he will go but his status will be reduced this is why baba says you must not go into that line those who went away a cycle ago will do so again some right so and so come regularly for 4 years but maya has now caught hold of him just as when a fly dies ants eat it and it is completely finished so the five evil spirits of maya totally destroy that person you children now know the occupation of everyone how many births do those of islam the buddhist and the christians take you know this too the locks of your intellects have opened so much so each of you has received a powerful third eye of knowledge each of you has received a powerful third eye of knowledge baba says the geeta is the main one and the rest are its children the geeta is the mother and father the geeta is the mother and shiva is the father and we are created through geeta in fact all the other scriptures are also created through this just as the head of souls shiv baba is at every is at the very top in the same way the head of all scriptures is the shrimad bhagavad geeta the jewel of all the scriptures it is just that by saying that they are the versions of god shri krishna they have made the impact of the whole of the geeta they have made the impact of the whole of the geeta disappear this too is fixed in the drama the main thing is to remember shiv baba constantly those who follow the father shrimat accurately will continue to increase their remembrance of shiv baba the most <clears throat> the more obedient and the faithful you remain the more you will be able to surrender yourself to baba baba i now surrender myself to you 
so you have to forget everything including your body and become completely alone and become completely alone you have to have renunciation to that extent many children are completely free from any bondage whereas others who have attachment continue to come here like aunts if you have attachment to your husband or your children you cannot have your intellect connected in yoga with shri baba that is until you surrender yourself with an honest heart to the lord many tell lies but you have to sacrifice yourself completely you have to become a complete trustee and take shrimat at every step you have to become a complete trustee and take shrimat at every step many children send their accounts to shri baba and then they ask should i get my children married or should i build a house baba say yes you may do that it does not matter you are never told no to anything when you become completely free from attachment you even then have no need to ask however this does not means that if you ask whether you can indulge in vice you would be told yes or no that would be foolishness what is baba saying however this does not means that if you ask whether you can indulge in vice you would be told yes no that would be foolishness however if there would be no loss or damage in something yes you may do that baba is saying conquer attachment and you can then do whatever you want the father knows that you will stay busy doing service and that you will continue to follow the father the older children sacrifice themselves there is also praise of their sacrifice all are poor the mothers are very good they don't need to surrender themselves only those who are wealthy have to surrender themselves only those who are wealthy have to surrender themselves people don't give anything to women hardly anyone wills everything to his wife otherwise their children would take everything away nowadays no one listen to anyone give me a little money and i will put everything right nowadays no one listens to anyone give me a little money and i will put everything right they even give a false judgment and it does not even matter to them if someone is totally ruined baba is called the supreme justice the supreme teacher and the supreme satguru and he is also then called and he is also then called the supreme dharmraj there cannot be any fluctuation in his judgment there is not anything like that fixed in the drama however here there are many courts each one higher than the next in some places no one even listens to the prince president in some places no one even listen to the president therefore the father says beloved children you have to become bodiless you have to return home with the father the father is the guide he is also called the liberator all the title are his he is also called the peacemaker nowadays people give peace prizes it is maya that makes you peaceless peace exists in the golden age and the land of liberation in the land beyond sound there is total peace there is total peace in the golden age to there is 101% peace in the golden age to there is 100% peace purity and prosperity the very name is the land of happiness how could be there in the peace in the land of sorrow perhaps sanyasis have a little peace but that is like the dropping of a cow crow 
you would not say that in the golden age here even a kingdom is like that the dropping of a crow so baba explains maya will slap you at great deal you will then continue to choke it internally and not tell the truth so you must tell the truth to, to the eternal surgeon you must tell the truth to the eternal surgeon otherwise if you don't speak the truth your sins will continue to increase and there would be a severe punishment acha so you should not commit any sin in the future the punishment for bringing a bad name to babas is very severe the father has come to make you into masters of the world and those who create obstacles in in this bring punishment upon themselves devil create obstacles so you children should not create obstacles there is benefit in this for you children it is a sin even to look at the face of an angry person it is a sin even to look at the face of an angry person baba says hear no evil see no evil you must not even look at the face of an angry person greed and attachment are no less the child emperor is lust and the master the advisor is anger so both of them are great bandits anger is a very dirty bandit anger is a very dirty bandit those who claim the full inheritance from the father and glorify his name are worthy children this baba says the daughters are cleverer than i am no one can be cleverer than shiv baba no one can be cleverer than shiv baba the father places the children on his head unlimited bab dada has love and regard for the children he desires each child to claim his fortune of the kingdom and to be constantly happy the father would say children may you stay alive may you have a long life have mercy for yourself by imbibing the teachings that the father gives you if you don't follow shrimat you cross out your line of fortune you know that shri baba has come from the supreme abode to give you your inheritance of heaven to the extent that each of you makes effort to the extent that you have mercy for yourself you will accordingly make yourself elevated if you indulge in vice your light will be extinguished and you will not then be able to imbibe the oil of knowledge acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we spiritual children says namaste good morning to our sweetest spiritual father essence for dharna first you must completely surrender yourself to the lord from the deep within your heart become a complete trustee and follow shrimat at every step forget everything including your body and be alone second after becoming a child of the father you must not create any obstacle in the father's task you must not do anything that would bring spoil baba's name you must not do anything that would bring spoil baba's name become obedient and faithful today's blessing feel baba's hand on your head and take blessing may you transform yourself by discerning the time and the atmosphere and become loved by all may you transform yourself by discerning the time and the atmosphere and become loved by all baba says those who have the power of transformation are loved by all they are easy in their ideas too they have the power to mold themselves they would never ask my idea my plan my service were so good and so why were they not accepted no to have this consciousness of mind means that there is alloy mixed with them so discern the time and the atmosphere and transform yourself and you will be loved by all and become a number one victorious soul 
बिकम आ नंबर वन विक्टोरियस सोल स्लोगन बिकम वन हु फिनिशेज प्रॉब्लम्स नॉट वन हु इज एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स स्लोगन बिकम वन हु फिनिशेज प्रॉब्लम्स एंड नॉट वन हु इज एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स ओम शांति थैंक यू बाबा